This is Aisha from Jester's Computers, and I'd like to talk to everyone a little bit about Avast and some of the really cool features that are in the Avast cloud care business that we sell. So this version of Avast is more than just antivirus. There's a lot of cool things that you can do. First, I'm going to run a scan so you can just see how this works. Um, in addition to scanning for viruses, it's going to check compatibility of software and making sure you don't have any other virus products that are going to conflict. It's also going to check for viruses and vulnerable software or software that's outdated or has other known issues. It's also going to check your browser add-ons and this is a really important one because a lot of people end up getting malware and potentially unwanted programs and pop-ups from add-ons from their web browser. So that one can really help keep you protected and less annoyed. It's also going to check for network threats. So this one right here is just going to check to make sure that your home network is secure. If you have a wireless network, it's going to tell you if you have um, a weak password. And the last one here is going to check for weak passwords. So this one's only going to be there if you have the password saved in Avast. We're going to get to that here shortly. So here it found one issue. It found some vulnerable software. Um, so it's telling me I have six outdated programs. Uh, so this is one of the things that we typically do during a cleanup, but it's a good idea to do it regularly getting these updates. So if you choose to update the selected, it's going to go ahead and get those updates for you and install them. Uh, next we're going to talk about your protection. So the scans option is just going to let you choose what type of scan you want to do. Um, you can scan for threats before Windows starts up, which sometimes is necessary to remove certain threats. You can also scan certain folders or do a full scan. Nowadays, it's not imperative for you to do a full scan on a regular basis, but it is a good idea to run one if you're having problems or from time to time. Now we're going to look at our core shields. Here you can see which shields are turned on. You won't be able to turn them off from here since your device is managed, but you can change them by going to the settings option in the bottom left hand corner. Now we're going to look at the virus chest. Here you can see all of the viruses or warnings that have been detected on my device. Your Wi-Fi inspector is going to check your Wi-Fi to see if your password is secure or not, and it's going to give you your IP address for your router and your computer. It's also going to let you know any other IPs that are found on your network. This can be useful to identify devices that are on your network that you may not want to have access to your network, but generally your network should be secured, so you shouldn't have anyone accessing it without the password. Your software updater is going to update your programs, which we already started previously, and we can see that it's downloading the updates for each of these. It's also letting us know what the current version is and what the new versions are. Next is the sandbox. So the sandbox is a way that you can run a file without the antivirus interfering. It is highly not recommended that you use this unless you're certain that a specific program or file is safe to use on your device. Your firewall will let you choose if it's a private network or a public network. If you're choosing a public network, it's going to restrict you a little bit more and prevent certain things from being able to access your device. So if you're set to a public network, you won't be able to see other devices like printers or networked computers. You want to make sure you're on a private network for anything that requires you to connect to other devices. And real site is another great one. Um, so this is going to happen automatically, but basically if you visit a website that's not the real website or it's a, sp a spoofed site, it's going to pop up and let you know that that website's not safe so that you don't visit it unexpectedly. 
Then under our privacy, there's some really cool features in here. The first one I'm going to tell you about is the passwords. So we've actually had a lot of people asking us about this recently, um, how to add passwords um, to your computer safely without worrying about security. So um, when I originally opened this up, it gave me the option to enable this in the browser, and I've already imported my um, logins that I have in Google Chrome. So each of these logins here um, are available to, to look at. If I click on one, it's going to show me what the web address is, the, the login, username, and password. This button is going to let you see the password, and this button is going to copy it to your clipboard um, so you can paste it in. Now, if you enable these passwords that are saved to be working in your web browsers, which it will work with both Google Chrome and Firework, Firefox, um, you can just click Install. And you're going to get this pop-up in your browser that asks if you want to install the password manager. So when you choose to install it, it'll pop up and you can choose Add Extension. This is the Chrome um, setup, but the Firefox one is going to be pretty similar. So now if I visit... Um, Now, if we go to log in, Avast is inserting my passwords here for me so that I don't need to remember them. And you can be more you can be less concerned about the security since it's coming right from your antivirus. In here they also give you the option to add your credit card so that you don't have to fill them in automatically. And Secure Notes also lets you add certain notes or ideas. Um, you can color these notes if you would like. And save your note, and then you can recall it anytime you want. Back under privacy, this is the absolute coolest feature of Avast, in my opinion. A VPN allows you to browse privately, and if you remember, not that long ago, there was a big to-do about net neutrality, and now your internet service providers can really see more than what they should be able to see. So by using a VPN, you're setting your location to somewhere else. So your internet provider and all the traffic that you have is not visible. Um, so this can really be beneficial if you want to have more privacy and to protect your data more. This allows you to browse the internet anonymously. This does not block your history or anything like that from your computer, but it does block it from your provider. Then we have the anti-spam. So if you have a web pro or a desktop program such as Thunderbird or Outlook or any kind of other email program, um, you can set spam to be keeping spam out, strict or relaxed, if you want to block emails um, so you're not getting as much junk. You also have the data shredder. So if you have files that you want to remove from your complete computer and you want to be sure that they're completely gone, you can choose specific files, your whole computer drive, or shred deleted files that have already been removed. So all of these great features from Avast come with your Avast business antivirus. Um, so for Avast, we're your free tech support. So if you have a problem, you come to us. You don't have to call and speak to someone who is difficult to understand. Um, you're always dealing with the same people. We do offer tech support when available uh, remotely. 
and Avast is just 75 for a two-year license for the first computer and 25 for each additional computer. So you really get a lot of bang for your buck. I hope that you've enjoyed watching this and that you found some of the new features to be useful. If you're interested in Avast or have AVG and would like to switch to Avast, you can bring your computer in and we can reinstall the antivirus for you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave us a comment below or give us a call. Our shop number is 717-642-6611, and we're open Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., and Tuesdays and Thursdays from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Thank you, and have a fantastic day.